Many ask the question, why so much pain, suffering, and heartache? This is a new series in which we seek to answer this question by examining the life of Christ and others from the perspective of living in a crucible. Figuratively, a crucible is a severe test a trial or an extremely challenging experience. This meaning is based on the literal meaning in which in ancient times, a heat resisted container was used to melt metal to transform the metal into something precious. In this series, we learn that Jesus made everything. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Yet, we discover that he lived in a crucible. Just like us, he experienced pain and suffering. He was lied on, cheated, abused, misused, disrespected, criticized, and talked about. His life was filled with much heartache. In other words, he suffered and experienced the same things we experienced, but at an even greater degree. Thus, from the perspective of his suffering and pain, we will seek to better understand this difficult issue. We look at others who have suffered and at suffering in the lives of those professing to be followers of Christ. Thus, through the lives of Christ and others, we will seek to determine how they use suffering, pain, loss to grow and develop we will examine the kinds of pains and suffering they experienced and what they did about it. We seek to discover what they learned from their experiences, and we will analyze how their experiences can help us better handle pain and suffering. Holy Father, though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, help us trust in you regardless of the changes in our emotional atmosphere. Help us cling faithfully to your love and goodness. Help us not to trust just you now and then, but always, both in the good times and in the bad times. In Jesus' name, amen. Our key text is Psalms 23.3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Sophie falls on her bedroom floor with tears rolling down her face. She's hurt. Her heart is broken. She's just learned some disturbing news. A person that she thought was her friend is going around telling awful lies about her. Even worse, this person was supposed to be her bestie, her ride or die. This was the person she respected and trusted. Now this person is spreading terrible gossip and false rumors about her. Her so-called best friend, for some strange reason, is trying to ruin her reputation and destroy her in the sight of others. Have you ever been there? What did you do? How did Sophie handle this? In deep anguish, Sophie grabs her Bible from off her bed and let it fall open in her lap. Wiping her tears away, her eyes fall on a verse that she has read many times before. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. After reading this verse, Sophie concludes that God was speaking to her in this verse. Talking to herself, she blurts out, surely this can't be. But the logic seemed undeniable. It doesn't make sense, does it? It was clear to her that 
the shepherd in Psalms 23 guides his sheep on the right path. Even though it is the right path, sometimes the road gets rough and rugged. Not only that, there are times that the path takes you right through the dark valley, the valley of shadow and death. It says in the book, lift him up. Jesus is the good shepherd. His followers are the sheep of his pasture. A shepherd is always with his flock to defend them, to keep them from the wolves, to hunt up the lost sheep and carry them back to the fold, to lead them beside green pastures and beside living waters. Oh my, then could it be, could it be that through Sophie's dark valley, through her pain and hurt, God is leading her in the path of righteousness? Most of us have read the 23rd Psalms and many of us have memorized it, but what is the logic or reasoning behind it? Discover more in part two, a guide for the journey, the shepherd.